Hi, my name is David from CA World Wi-Fi. Today I'd like to introduce you to a very cool, very neat device. It's our 1 watt USB Wi-Fi adapter, model AOU2410. Now inside the box comes the USB um, Wi-Fi adapter, the 1 watt device. It comes with 15 feet of USB cable, here's the USB connector. It comes with an end connector and a 7 decibel gain omnidirectional antenna that you screw on. It also comes with a mounting clamp and it comes with a disc for the driver, the 1 watt driver. Now in addition to this device we have available a, an additional 15 feet of active USB cable just in case you need more cable. It has a chip on this side of the cable that you plug in and this goes into your computer. Uh, we have one set up right now if you'll take a look over there, it's set up under an umbrella, uh, it's not very high, but we're going to plug it into our laptop and show you exactly what the difference is using this device as opposed to building uh, using your built-in uh, Wi-Fi card on your laptop. Most of you are going to want to know what the range is on the USB device. So here's how we're going to find out. I have a Draytech router set up right here. Um, it was plugged into a battery backup system. We're going to take my laptop and the USB device and drive away and we'll see what kind of range we get. We'll report to you on the way. We're driving away from the Draytech wireless router and the first stop is going to be down the street somewhere around half mile away. And then we'll take the readings as we get there. All right, let's refresh the network list. There's the Draytech, and we're showing up at full signal strength right now. Let's go further. Yeah, I'm sure you can see it down at the end of the street down there. All right, let's try it again and see what happens. All right, I'm going to refresh the network list again. And once again, the Draytech shows up right there. And the signal strength is still five bars. That's for an off-the-shelf router. We're going to keep going. All right, I think we're just about at the end of the street now. The road is curving a little bit. So let's stop here and see even if we don't have direct line of sight. Okay, we're just about three quarters of a mile away from the Draytech. I'm going to try to zoom in and see if you can get an idea of just how far away we are. There it is at the end of the road down there. Alright, that's the Draytech all the way down there, three quarters of a mile. Now, let's come back to the car. And let's take a look at the laptop. And refresh the network list. And here's the Draytech again. And as far as signal strength goes, it's now at three bars of signal strength on the Draytech. And we're th almost three quarters of a mile away. Okay, here we are at the end of the road. Uh, it's three quarters of a mile away, at least. And we're going to go down to the street, give you an idea. And you can still see the Draytech down there, all the way at the end. And we come back to the car. Let's 
Let's take a look at the network list. And let's refresh the network list. And let's see if we can still see the Draytech. Look at that. Draytech still there. And two bars of signal strength at three quarters of a mile because we're holding it on top of the roof of the car. Now we'll go to the speedometer as we drive back. All right, we set it to zero. Let's drive back to the access point now. We'll take another reading. Last reading just to see what happened. I'm sure you can understand that with a one watt USB device connected to your laptop, you certainly will be able to go far away from an access point, even an off-the-shelf access point, and pick up its signal and it's usable. One of the things I didn't mention to you is that with this device, if it's connected to your computer, and your computer is directly connected to the internet, you can use the AOU 2410 as an access point so that other people will be able to connect wirelessly to the internet using your USB device as an access point. Okay, here we are back at the access point, and now let's take a look at the odometer and see how far we went before we ran out of real estate. Alright, that was about three quarters of a mile. Um, I hope you're as impressed with this as we are. We'll talk to you later.